who was a place in the top five up for grabs as Ren played host to Bordeaux on Sunday. The Girondins have become something of a bogey team for Ren in recent years. They've only beaten them once in 12 Ligue 1 meetings. That was back in December 2011. Well, Johan Gorkouf back in the Ren squad against his former side. Ex-teammate Jeremy Doulalon starting for Bordeaux. Christian Gorkouf's side seeking a bit of consistency. They've yet to claim back-to-back -back wins this season. While Bordeaux, after a solid start, have only picked up a point in their last two outings. Some classic Brittany weather for this clash with Wren on the attack just before half-time. Giovanni Sio coming down the left flank here. And his cross was turned into his own net by the unfortunate Diego Contento. 1-0 for Wren. And Contento under pressure here from Kamil Grosicki. Wren's Polish forward. There was really nothing that Cedric Carrasso could do about that one, the Bordeaux goalkeeper. So Ren taking a 1-0 lead in at the break. And the home fans not letting the rain dampen their spirits at Roazon Park. Well, Jocelyn Gorvenek's side drew level on 66 minutes. And this time one of their defenders got the ball in the back of the net at the right end of the pitch. Nicola Palwa Turning in that corner from Malcolm. Getting ahead of Pedro Mendes, the Wren captain, to just stroke that one home. Now with six minutes to go, Wren came oh so close to finding a winner. Some fancy footwork from substitute Adama Diakabi. His cross for Paul George and Tep, but it was denied by the crossbar. And after a season plagued by injury, and Tep chasing his first goal since September 2015. Almost got it there. Carrasso well beaten. And there was even a final double chance for Wren. So just about managing to keep the ball in play here. Wesley Saeed coming in, good save from Carrasso, Diakabi picking up the loose ball, coming off the post and the crossbar. And as you can see, the ball had actually gone out of play there. So it ought to have been a goal kick for Bordeaux, justice perhaps done, with Diakabi missing that chance. And so it finished at 1-1. Wren's long wait for a winner for Bordeaux goes on.